Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Glebe. I'm part of the Cloud Foundation Technical Marketing Team. And in this presentation, I will be kicking off our discussion on VMware Cloud Foundation 9 Technical Overview. As far as the agenda, we'll first start by introducing you to VMware Cloud Foundation, and then we'll get into some of the use cases around modernizing your infrastructure, uh, delivering that public cloud operating model, as well as a discussion on how to secure and protect your private cloud. We'll then get into a discussion around some of the uh, VCF add-on services, and then we'll wrap up by pointing you to some more resources where you can learn more. So VCF9 is a pretty big release for us. This is the first major release since the Broadcom acquisition. And as such, this is our first opportunity to really showcase to our customers just how much work we've been doing in order to help drive this vision of providing the best possible private cloud to our customers. And as we've been working towards this, we've been focused on three critical business infrastructure initiatives. The first is on modernizing our infrastructure. And I'm gonna go into detail more on each of these in future slides. So I'm just gonna be doing a high level overview here. But in addition to providing that modern infrastructure, we are focused on providing that true cloud-like ease of experience, that cl true cloud operating model as part of this private cloud. And of course, building a private cloud doesn't do anybody any good if it's not secured and not protected and not resilient. So we'll be talking about each of these in a bit more detail. So when it comes to modernizing our infrastructure, we're really talking about a couple of things. First, we're talking about being, making it very easy for our customers to build and operate modern infrastructure using a cloud-like operating model. And this entails both going in and updating some of the infrastructure we're using in our data center, maybe modernizing some hardware, but also updating some of our processes and procedures. And we have a number of capabilities we're, we're providing to kind of help make this easy. Things like the VCF installer, we've uh, got automation with the SDC manager that makes it easy to stand up and deploy workload domains. And so we have those core capabilities that are all part of the modernizing infrastructure. In addition, we're talking about incorporating software-defined storage and software-defined networking as part of this. And in addition to modernizing infrastructure, we also have to be cognizant of the fact that the end users need to be able to consume this infrastructure. So to do that, we're, uh, we'll be talking about some of the tight integration we have with VCF automation in order to provide this infrastructure as a service capability where we can then go in and we can provide infrastructure as a service through a self-service catalog so that these end users uh, can come in and consume this private cloud. And of course, we do recognize that when implementing a private cloud, when we talk to our customers, it's not just about the data center. They have infrastructure running in the data center, infrastructure running at the edge, infrastructure running in the public cloud. So it's also about uh, extending out to the edge, to the cloud, and um, be able to help them to be able to implement a modern infrastructure and to deploy a private cloud, both in their data center, at the edge, and in the public. In addition, uh, kind of building upon that uh, IaaS capability, uh, we have some new personas as we have new modern application workloads. We have workloads now built based on Kubernetes with Kubernetes orchestration. We have uh, private AI and we have these new capabilities and along with them comes a new set of uh, personas for um, developing these applications and consuming these applications in the form of developers, platform engineers, and the likes. And for them, the, their requirements in terms of how they need to access a cloud platform is slightly different. Um, they, they want to come in using tools that they know and are comfortable with, using API models, and to be able to kind of self-provision the infrastructure so they can deploy it into their own Kubernetes clusters, and they can deploy their own application workloads, and they can deploy their own set of services on top of this. And that's all part of the providing this uh, cloud operating model for these developers and for these uh, platform engineers and such making the private cloud a solution for them that's just as easy to use as they would expect going to any public cloud offering out there. And of course, building a private cloud is nothing if it's if it's not secure and if it's not resilient. And so we need to be able to protect this new modern infrastructure uh, 
from things like ransomware threats and from uh, disasters. You know, we we live in a time where there seems to be an increasing number of fires and floods and, and disasters that could potentially take out a data center. So how do we protect that data center? How do we protect that data that's in there? How do we make this environment resilient? And uh, in addition to that, you know, how do we go in and make sure that the data is uh, following all the laws and requirements that we're required to from a from a locality standpoint? from a compliance standpoint, and how do we make sure we're protected and that we're not at risk for things like ransomware or uh, other types of problems in our environment. And so those are the, the three key business initiatives. You know, we'll be going over, we'll be talking about how to modernize infrastructure, and we'll be talking about ways that we can enable customers. And we'll really be focusing a lot on that modernized initiative. Uh, I'll be going over architecture and topologies. We'll talk about how we deploy and scale. And then we'll get into a little bit more on the building blocks of the private cloud, the compute virtualization, the storage virtualization with vSAN, network virtualization with NSX. And then we'll get into some of the private cloud operations and a centralized operations through VCF operations that will tie in with VCF automation and show some of our IaaS capabilities. And then we'll, ask, we'll also discuss some of the uh, tools we have to help customers migrate legacy workloads onto this new modern private cloud. And then we'll shift gears, get into that uh, unified cloud experience for developers. Here we'll be focused primarily on using VCF automation to provide this Kubernetes infrastructure on demand and also tie in with uh, deploying private AI on top of the private cloud. And then we'll wrap it up with a discussion around how we secure and protect the private cloud, uh, how we can go in and, and, and make sure that we are able to be compliant and be secure and be protected from both uh, threats as well as disasters that are out there.